Hey, Mixer friends, we are here at the Harmonix booth. I am with Jonathan, Josh, and Nathan. How are you guys? We're doing great, having awesome. a great PAX. Awesome, awesome. You guys, we're going to talk about Drop Mix, this new game you guys got, you're showcasing here. This looks unreal. Tell me a little bit about it. So, Drop Mix is uh, maybe the world's first music mixing game. It's a collaboration between the team at Harmonix. We do Rock Band, Dance Central, love music games. And we teamed up with the folks at Hasbro that do a bunch of toy and game technology, integrative play stuff. And we built this Drop Mix music mixing game system that allows you to take these Drop Mix cards, each Drop Mix card is a piece of music, and seamlessly blend them and mix them uh, to come up with new mixes and also play a couple different game modes with them. So, yeah, I think we're ready to show it off. For yeah, you. yeah, let's check it out, guys. I, I've been watching these guys play a little bit. Go ahead and get started. This is going to blow your mind. This is crazy. So you're going to be hearing the music now. So, yeah, as soon as Josh puts down that red card, it's getting the guitar loop from Imagine Dragons. And now he dropped the blue B card. So now you got Mike Snow's Genghis Khan beat. Everything seamlessly syncs up. Just dropped in this funky bass line from Outcast Miss Jackson. And he's bringing in some vocals. Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. This is so amazing. I just love how it blends like, like nothing. It's just easy peasy. It's as simple as putting the cards down. Different colors of cards are different parts of music. So you got like your yellow vocals, red melody, blue beats, green bass lines. You can even stack cards on top of each other. You see Josh just put Sean Paul on top of Carly Rae Jepsen so you hear the vocals change. This, this is so great. All right, what do we got going on right here? All right, so these multicolored wild cards, most cards have a single part of music. So when you drop these multicolored cards in the mix. Yeah. So wow. Transform everything. So you hear an MGMT uh, change the whole mix. Sounds good. That, that, oh my gosh. All right, so so is the whole game this, or there, there's different game types you can play, things like that? Totally. So right now we're in freestyle mode, so you can sort of freely mix music, collaborate with your friends. You see Josh actually messing with the controls live here. So you can speed the tempo way up, you can do key changes, find like the perfect mix or whatever you're into. But there's also a couple game modes that we'll get into now. Okay. Yeah, so I'm curious. So, so there's, oh, there we go. So we got Clash, we got Party. And what was the other one? So Freestyle was the one we were just looking at. Okay. Party mode is like a collaborative game mode. It's kind of a fast-paced game. We're all working as a team to meet requests from the crowd. Sure, sure. The faster you play, the more points you get. But if you screw up, you might get a party foul and lose some points. Okay. And these guys are starting up a game of Clash. So they got a deck here. They got a whole deck laying there. Yep. So the game can read a stack of cards. They're tagging their deck. They've sort of selected their own music. Nate has his music, Josh has his music. They're kind of compete to show off whose music is the best by dominating the mix here. So you can kind of you can kind of plan ahead and pick the tunes you like and what you think sounds good ahead of time. So you get some options to sort of customize your playlist, build a deck around that. Um, every card you get onto the board is going to score you a point. Right now, the first team, uh, first player to 15 points is going to win. Uh, so you see Nate drop down that blue Franz Ferdinand B card. Yeah, I hear that. Scores a point for that. Drop a uh, Ed Sheeran guitar riff that's coming in. So Nate's got kind of a rock mix going on here. So do you go? Do they play one at a time? Or are they going to mix it? Okay, I see. I see. Right. So they take turns. Uh, each player gets two actions on their turn. Josh got that bass line from Gloria Gaynor. So you notice Josh uh, added some new colors to the mix. So if you fill out the sound, adding that green bass, that yellow vocal, he yeah. scored a couple bonus points for that. So it's kind of about building up and breaking down the mix like a DJ would. Yeah. The better you are at the game, kind of the more interesting your mixes are going to get. But even in Clash, it kind of feels a little bit collaborative. Right. The, the game's always seamlessly going to mix something together, which is part of the fun. Yeah. I might show up in my country deck. You've got like have some electronic music. It's always going to work together, and you're going to find some interesting combinations, but you're still trying to win. You're still trying to beat out. Yeah, your I have it. you got to be the better, better DJ, more or less. This is so crazy. So Nate hit the uh, drop mix button on the board. So in addition to sort of building up the mix, when you hit that drop mix button, it clears all your opponent's cards that match that number. So he sort of knocked out Josh's church's vocal, another one of Josh's cards, cleared out the vocal so he can bring in this salt and pepper. Oh my gosh. Salt and pepper goes good with everything. And you can see Josh. So when you want to cover your opponent's cards, every card has a level from one to three. That's kind of how intense the sound is. Yeah. So when you want to cover your opponent's music, you got to play a card that's equal or higher, okay. sort of build up the mix. And then you can use special effects cards and bonuses or hit that equalizer button to clear music out. So you kind of get a bunch of changeover. It's really dynamic every game. You never know exactly what combination of sounds you're going to get or how you're going to win. Right, right. So how does a round actually end? Like, what's the end game here? What's the goal? So they're playing to 15 points. You can sort of see on the scoreboard that, um, oh. 
Josh just lost some cards, so he's gonna lose a point there. I think Nate just tied up the game. So it's tied six to six until Nate drops in his baseline here. There we go. Scores himself a point, takes the lead. Oh, is that cake? Yes, uh, the baseline from a short skirt, long jacket. Nice, love that song. Oh. Josh comes in with an attack here. So these effects cards, when you drop them, they'll show you their effect on the screen. They'll automatically uh, fire. So that one cleared one of Nate's cards randomly. Bumped out those salt and pepper vocals. And so Josh has an extra play to go here. Bringing the beat from uh, like a G6. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like dance, you guys. We're not on camera right now, but we're totally like bouncing around and jamming to the music. That's part of the fun. Like as a party game, you can connect. So this, uh, the app runs on iOS and Android phones and tablets. So you can push the sound out through uh, Bluetooth speakers or Apple TV or Chromecast. So you can sort of set up as a party in your house, get the oh. music going straight from the game. Yeah. And every game's going to be different. Every game's going to be dynamic. Yeah. Every. It's like every time you're making a new mix. It's yeah. just oh. And it's all continuous. We got the Jackson Five going. I just feel like if you play the Jackson 5, you win. Like, I, why is that not just like an auto win? I don't know. Josh was able to stop. He brought in Tribe Called Quest. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice trade off. This is amazing to watch, I got to say. Like, I, 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 I just so see the pile of cards lying around and see all the music you can make and, and all the songs that are here you can use. It's, it's so fun. Like, this just looks like, it just looks like fun. Yeah. We're trying to give people a ton of different music to collect, different styles, yeah. rock, pop, hip hop, electronic. Go way broader than we've been able to do, uh, than we've done with uh, previous games and give people a level of control and music mixing that's never really been done in a game before. Totally, totally. So we'll have this starter pack. Um, the board comes with 60 cards. The app free to download on iOS and Android phones and tablets. Uh, that'll be out September 24th, and you can pre-order that now at dropmix.com. Uh, and there'll be playlist packs that give you a whole theme set of music to collect, some discover packs to sort of mix up your sound, find kind of the music. Routine. So that's what I was going to ask. So there are more packs you can buy. And, and also, how many cards are in a deck when you're playing Clash? Yeah, so right now these guys are playing one-on-one, -on -one, so they have a 30-card deck. You can also play two-on-two, -two, team up with each player having 15 cards. Okay. So you can sort of blend together a couple different sounds to play that way. Nice. Uh, and then, yeah, there'll be playlist packs that give you another 15-card deck ready to go, or you can kind of mix and match five-card packs to sort of create your perfect blend of music in any kind of styles you want. That is so awesome. So again, uh, how can people keep up with you guys? What, like Twitter, things like that. Where do you guys? Absolutely. Yeah, you can follow us at DropMixSteam uh, on Twitter. Um, and it looks like, oh. Oh! I just finished it. Oh, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire ending on a high note. No pun intended. And so uh, you can also snap and save mixes that you create while you're playing. So Josh is going to just jump back into freestyle here. Maybe they'll show off our, uh, one of our exclusive PAX cards that we got here. Oh, you got exclusive cards. So if you come and visit us at PAX, we got this card from, uh, so we teamed up with Hasbro to build this. Yeah. So we got them to hook us up with this. Whoa. T oh, Transformers. Yeah. And so you can even snap and save your mix. So if Josh taps the, uh, or Nate taps the button in the corner there, whatever music you have playing, you can actually play it back and recreate that mix in the order that you laid it down. Oh my God. And you can share that with friends. So this is like rebuilding one of the mixes we had earlier. We had this Skrillex bass line going, and then we dropped in that Transformers card. <laughs> oh my gosh. Share that off. So it's an awesome way to kind of discover new music and show off the mixes you create while you're playing. Totally, totally. Oh, this is so fun. Uh, Jonathan, th this has been absolutely amazing, man. Thank I love it. Thank you so it. much for checking it out. It's been this an awesome project for us. So I'm excited to see people on here. Totally, totally. So one more time, when can people get this? Uh, Drop Mix is out September 24th. September 24th. Thank you guys so much. This is so, this looks like so much fun, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Ethan. Yeah. This, check it out. The game is Dropbox. It's fun. It's so fun. Drop Mix, I'm sorry. Dropbox. <laughs> Drop Mix, check it out. This is like the most fun I've had all week. Take care, guys.